Introducing to you first the challenger, fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing black with white and weighed in at 12 stones, six pounds. Coming to us from Polnesia, Lazio, Italy. He brings a undefeated record with 15 wins. Seven of his 15 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Davide Farracci. And his opponent across the ring in his main event. He is the defending champion fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He comes to the ring wearing light blue trunks with white and weighed in the same as his opponent, 12 stone, six pounds. Hailing from Manchester, England, he is undefeated with 18 wins. 12 of his 18 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the current Commonwealth champion and tonight the reigning and defending WBO Intercontinental Light Heavyweight Champion, Lyndon King Arthur! At our professionals at all times, I follow my instructions, watch your rates and keep it. Any questions? Let's go to work. What a great reception for Lyndon Arthur, and I think that underlines the fact that there is a lot of respect among boxing fans and in the boxing community for this man, for the victory he produced against Anthony Yard, and I'm sure what we're going to see in this fight will be confirmation of that absolutely world-class left-hand lead. There are not too many better jabs around than that of Lyndon Arthur. Yep, fight fans are really warming to Lyndon Arthur, aren't they? The victory against Anthony Yard, it was nip and tuck, but he just got over the line. And, um, yeah, he's, he's improving, like I said, over the last three contests, he's improving all the time, but it's that jab really does um, command and, and dictates his fight. It's a cracking shot, and most of the time it's thrown from the hip. Well, Parachi, with speed and, 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 and accuracy, John. Parachi, no slouch himself, throws a lot of punches. Got four wins inside three rounds. Got up off the floor to beat Emre Kuko. Hasn't fought since February 2020, so maybe a little bit of rust there. Lyndon Arthur's last three fights have all been the 12 round distance. And you see Ferrazzi is tremendously fit, he will keep coming. Yeah, he's more of a volume puncher, Ferrazzi. And that's what he's got to do against Arthur and try and take that jab away. Parry that jab, block that jab, or move the head as he's coming forward. He's got to deal with that and then get and close that gap down and then throw the punches in bunches, as they say, because that's what he does best. He's a light puncher, but he does throw lots of combinations. And maybe that's the way that he can beat Lyndon Arthur. Been a pro since 2016, Ferrachi. Lyndon Arthur also joined the paid ranks at the same time. And since then, under the watchful guidance of Pat Barrett, fine fighter in his own right a few years back, and Ferrachi looking to show power and uh, aggressive intent in this opening round. He's told by Marcus McDonald to watch the use of the head. The good jabs from Ferracci here. What, what Ferracci's got to do also, John, is maybe double up the jab and then send the right hand over. Double up the jab, move the feet into position with fast feet, double jab, then send the right hand. Because if you look at Lyndon Arthur's uh, left hand, his lead hand's very, very low, and that's where he might just get caught if Ferracci finds a way with that double jab to close that gap down. Chatting to a few people in the run up to this fight and while Arthur, you know, a lot of respect for his technical ability, people are also saying don't ever underestimate a man with an undefeated record because nobody to this point has found a way to beat him exactly. and you never know. Well, interesting opening round, good left hand there from Ferracci who's given Arthur plenty to think about in these first three minutes.
perché se ti tira al destro, sì. se ti tira al destro, sei scusa di più. Sì. Sì. Quando ti tira, Welcome back to the Royal Albert Hall. Slow start for Lyndon Arthur. And here's Pat Barrett with him. Just a little bit slow settling into the fight, Richie. Yeah, it was a scouting mission in that first round. Um, he probably just lost the round, to be quite honest. But um, I'm sure we'll see better from Lyndon Arthur. But yes, yeah, a slow start from him. Well, let's see if he can just settle down and find a way in. He cut touches down. Well, there was a left hand. The referee hasn't given it as a knockdown, but it was certainly a left hand from Arthur, which helped him to touch down. And I wonder if that should have been a count. Yeah, I'd like to have a look at that again. That was, I think, from a punch. So that should have been uh, scored as a knockdown. If it was from the punch, it happened so quickly. And John was we're quite away from the ring, aren't we, here? Oh, sure, he, he was off balance, wasn't he? Yeah, and he yeah. indicated that he slipped, and that was how the referee took it. And he's the one who's closest. But my initial instinct there was that that was a knockdown. Yeah, it was not, a left hand. It's all right slipping, but if there's a punch before that that makes you slip, then if you go down, then it's a knockdown. Whatever, that will surely settle Lyndon Arthur down. Perocci trying to maintain this high work rate, which we reckon, well, you did think he nicked that first round, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I think he, he did a bit more work than Lyndon Arthur in the first round. Lyndon was a little bit negative. And like I say, he was just having a look at the opponent. And uh, Ferracci, for me, scored the better shots. But this is better work now from Lyndon Arthur. He's starting to, to come back with um, more accurate shots, just like the ones there. Well, we'll take another look between rounds at that, uh, well, was it a knockdown, a phantom knockdown? And then you can make your own mind up watching at home as to whether or not Lyndon Arthur should have potentially had a 10-8 round. But, well, he's still got a while to way to go here. Maybe he can replicate it and find another punch to put Ferracci under pressure here in the remaining minute or so of this second round. It's better performance in this round from Lyndon Arthur. What he's actually doing there, John, as as Farachi's coming forward, he's just just counter attacking. So he's beating him to the punch. He's keeping him off balance. See, that, that's a, um, an example of it there. Good jab again. What a solid jab that was from Lyndon Arthur. Belting shot. It actually made Farachi just momentarily just stagger on his feet. Well, there has been indications in this second round that Lyndon Arthur has a clear advantage in power. He's landed crisper punches, and if he was shaded and edged out in the first round, he's most definitely taking this second. And he only just missed there with the old one-two, looking to find a big right hand to follow up the left-hand lead. Farachi saw it coming, was able to slip inside. Yeah, he's very clever, Arthur. What he does sometimes, he waits and you think he's waiting too long, but he's actually waiting for Farachi to start the attack, and as he starts, then he beats him to the punch. Good right hand from Arthur there. What a good round that was to Lyndon Arthur, the 30-year-old from Manchester, defending his title here, and, uh, well, in a moment, we'll see it. Now, make your own mind up. Was this a knockdown? No, nah, maybe, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's have a look again from this angle. It's actually a good shot. No, no, it was. That, a, it that's was, not. That wasn't from a punch, was it? He was kind of on the gloves, yeah. wasn't it? He? He but blocked. I needed to see it because it happened so quickly, and uh, that just confirmed it, John. Well, nevertheless, good round for Arthur. Let's listen in. What were you shot for? Pure belief here. Yeah, you'd be out of the. If there was a little bit of bad language in that corner, our apologies for that. Not sure if you'd pick that one up or not, but uh, I think the uh, kind of kind of underlines that Pat Barrett would like to see Lyndon Arthur 
pick it up a little bit and show a bit more self-belief. Yeah, this is boxing, John, and uh, the cornermen do get a little bit um, overexcited, shall we say. But, yeah, he's getting his message home loud and clear there to Lyndon Arthur. Yeah, he certainly did. If you'd been in the corner, you'd have listened. Yeah. We all knew what he was on about anyway. <laughs> <laughs> in no uncertain terms. So one apiece on Rich's card to this point as we go into the third round of this ten-rounder. Well, again, a great jab from Arthur. The, quality, the difference in the quality of the shot compared to his opponent, playing it to see. Farachi's jab isn't as quick, isn't as accurate. And as we've talked about, Lyndon Arthur's jab, very sharp with power. But a danger that Arthur could get outworked here. And uh, Bob Williams, the English referee, as well as that, we've got a Hungarian judge and a Spanish judge. If it goes the distance, well, we've seen close decisions many a time. I wonder if Farage will have the belief to maintain this through 10 rounds. He's doing well now. Well, yeah, because the, what has happened here now with Lyndon Arthur, he's, he's listened to his corner, obviously, and he's actually, there's a change in tactic here. He's on that front foot. He's got his guard up now, so he's trying to take the shots on the gloves as he's coming forward. But I think he's, I think he's gaining in confidence, although he's bringing Farachi into it, because as he's coming forward now, he's, sometimes he's holding his feet, and that's giving Farachi oh, a chance to uppercuts. land. Oh, lovely right hand. Yeah, super punch from him. Well, a definite change in tactic from Arthur. He's not on the back foot anymore. And the gloves are higher as he's coming forward. Yep. Planting his feet, getting more power into his shots here, Arthur. But Farachi still throwing bundles of punches. Not a lot in them. There's not a, a whole lot of pop in those punches, many of them. But he's landing. Marcus McDonnell won't stand for transgressions, argy-bargy, call it what you like. Only just off target with that uppercut. Interesting third round. Who's on top? We'll hear from Richie in just a moment or two. Just to Arthur. Welcome back to the Royal Albert Hall. Tight round, Richie. Yeah, it was a very close round indeed. I just thought Arthur's better shots, the quality of his work was just a little bit better. Farachi had the volume, most definitely, but the quality punching came from Arthur, and for me, he just nicked it. That's how Richie's got it at this stage. Lyndon Arthur ahead by a point. Three judges sitting at ringside will be passing their verdicts as we move into the fourth, ten-rounder. Nice little slip to the left there from Farachi, nice little move, and then he tries that screw shot through the middle. He's certainly already shown the Italian champion that he's no mug. If anything, John, he's probably just a little bit slow on his feet to close that gap down, and that's allowing Arthur just to catch him as he's coming forward. If his feet were a little bit quicker, then he may have more of a chance of landing the shots, but the, the, the attacks are slow, and Arthur is gradually getting to grips with the, with the pace of his opponent here. There's another right hand from Farachi. He's had a bit of success with that punch. Good body shot from Arthur. You heard that thud home, but Farachi takes it well and gets his own response to the head. Oh, 
Never been past eight rounds, incidentally, Davide Ferracci. Lyndon Arthur's last three have gone 12. His first fight in the UK as well, Ferracci, so um, yeah, first time here. Misses with that right hand over the top. That's obviously something they've worked on in the gym, knowing that Lyndon Arthur carries that lead hand very low, but he's changed tactics, his hands are higher as he's coming forward, Lyndon Arthur. Ferracci complaining to the referee that he was dragged onto that with a, a left hand around the back or the back of the head, and then those two clubbing right hands from Lyndon Arthur. That's a solid left hand. Ferracci complained it was low. Referee didn't want to know and waves the action on. Well, Ferracci's been hurt with a couple of good shots here, but he's showing real fight. The Italian here. He's trying to stay that, with Arthur, but big shots. That body shot again hurt Ferracci then. There's been a couple of terrific left hooks from Lyndon Arthur, who's showing that he's got the dominance in terms of power, and he's getting right on top here in this fourth round. Yeah, still using the jab as well, just to measure the distance and gap. Then he goes through the gears when he hits that target. Put threes and fours together now, Lyndon Arthur. Karachi has felt the power of the man from Manchester and I think it is starting to really take a toll. Good round from Lyndon Arthur, really good round. We'll go back into the corner where Pat Barrett is with him. Listen to me now, Lou. You're not boxing the way you should be boxing, so. Yeah. You're doing this okay, but you're making hard work of an easy fight. Now, listen to me now, listen. You, this guy's ready to go. You're prone to him with your shots. All you got to do is bam, bam. You just got the big man's nerves on the pads. You're the quality fighter here. Yeah? Show it, yeah? Get that jab going. Stop walking and doing all that. Look at what you're doing. Two clean shots, done. Yeah? yeah? Honestly, your combination punching is great. Yeah? All you got to do is steady yourself. Look at what you're doing, mate. Snatch your shots, put them together, and that's it. Okay. Yeah. Pat Barrett not, not entirely happy with the work from oh, Lyndon Arthur, but here we're seeing some good punches. Good shot to the body, that was a belting shot, left hook from Arthur. I think just after Arthur's got that confidence that he can take this fella out. The message there from Pat Barrett, he's making heavy work of it, he's making it harder than it needs to be, but there are real, in there are real indications in that fourth that he has a big advantage in terms of power. I thought a couple of those left hooks really, really found the mark yeah. and looked as though they took the wind out of Farachi. Pat Barrett doesn't like the fact that, you know, he's getting caught with the odd shot as he's going forward. He wants to avoid those shots. And as he, as he is coming forward with that jab like there, these are good shots, but occasionally then he holds his feet a little bit too long, Lyndon Arthur, and a few shots from Farachi's getting through and that's what Pat Barrett isn't pleased about. But those are two quality shots there. Karachi trying to force the pace in the opening minute of this fifth. Italian corner and maybe the fighter himself just taking a little bit of heart from the opening exchanges of this fifth. Prides himself on being super fit, Ferracci. Ferracci's feet are slowing down even more now, John. It's making it easier for Lyndon Arthur. The target's becoming easier to hit. And with those fast hands and that good jab, and there's that right hand again from Arthur. Now he's really getting to grips with his opponent here, for me. Ferracci still working away, though, and has seemingly... Well, to me, I reckon he's thrown more punches in this fifth round. But it's the quality of the, of oh, the shots, sure, John, and sure. you know, a lot of them are missing the target. They're slower, it's volume, but um, look at the quality shots there. They're getting home from Lyndon Arthur. Big cheer from those at ringside from that right hand of Arthur's, which found its way into the body of Ferracci. A lot of those punches from the Italian being taken on arms and gloves, looking busy. 
but is anything of consequence really landing? He's got a lot of heart, Ferracci. Not a bottle, give him that. Good switch of attack again from Lyndon Arthur, working the head, but then two body shots whipped downstairs. Oh, super punch. Oh, they felt that, a shake of the head from Ferracci, but he felt the weight of that one. And it shows he's got a good chin and another one, and he looks unsteady in the closing seconds of this round. The bell cannot come a moment too soon for the Italian. A big end to the round from Lyndon Arthur. Super work there from Arthur. The last 30 or 40 seconds, his best punches were thrown in that round. Let's take a look again. He really piled it on in the closing stages. That's a great punch. Yeah, that's that right hand, and that's 30 seconds towards the end of the round. And then he really gets to grips with it and starts throwing some bigger shots. And Fratti seemed to be coming undone. He's still firing back the Italian, but gets caught there with another right hand. This is late on again, and another right hand. And the bell just comes up. But a good end to the round for Lyndon Arthur. And there's that shot again. He just teed it up, didn't he, behind his lead hand. And Fratti, because he's holding his feet, easier target to hit. And a good end to the round for Lyndon Arthur. Clear round again to Arthur, who is in control on Richie's scorecard as we move into the second half of the fight. Talk of a world title shot for Lyndon Arthur, potentially, against Joe Smith, Jr. who won the title in April with a majority points victory against Maxime Vlasov. Talk of Smith maybe fighting Daniel Jacobs in September, but Arthur is very clearly, potentially, in the mix as the WBO number one challenger. Yeah, got to keep sharp, got to keep busy. He's got to win, he's got to win well, this. Yeah, first. of course, he just switched off in a couple of the exchanges here and just got caught on the, on the inside by a good uppercut earlier on. So he's got to keep his eye on the ball, get the job done here. Boxing much better at mid and long range. Italian fans, I'm sure, will be watching on. Hoping that their man makes it a victory on the eve of the big footballing occasion. Again, another great jab there from Lyndon Arthur. Faraci getting into his, trying to get into his rhythm up on his feet and just stopped wet, just banging his tracks with a, a simple jab. Just disrupts the rhythm of his opponent. There's a little bit of smear of blood from the right nostril of Lyndon Arthur, but nothing serious. And fair play to Faraci. Yeah? He didn't have a, a very good last round, especially the last minute or so. But he's come out and uh, he's regrouped. Well, we knew he'd be busy because that's the evidence of his previous fights, Richie. And he, he's got a terrific work rate. You have to give credit. Yeah, volume. We spoke about it before the contest. That's probably his only chance, really. Arthur trying to walk him down, absorbing a couple as he does so. And he's just got a little bit becalmed again, Lyndon. Just took his foot off the gas in this round, Lyndon Arthur. And signs of, signs of a little bit of damage around the mouth and nose now of Arthur testimony to the fact that a fair few of those punches from Faraci, particularly the right hand, have found their targets. And he looks a little bit tired as he goes back to the corner, Lyndon Arthur, and a wee bit disconsolate.
How do you score that last one? Well, it's a Ferracci. Not a great round for Lyndon Arthur. Crowd gave him a great reception, but the gap may be narrowed with that last round. And Lyndon Arthur noticeably, visibly, looked the more tired man as he made his way back to the corner at the end of that last round. Yeah, took his foot off the gas in that last round, and I thought Frachi just outworked him a little bit. So he's had a bit of a roasting in the corner. And uh, he's got to get back on his game. Oh, lovely right hand. That was a cracking shot. What a a great um, example of a counter punch that was made his opponent miss with the left hand and comes back with that right hand counter great reactions well timed punch best shot of the, of the contest so far for me sure Anthony Yard will be watching on somewhere and Callum Johnson of course with Paul Dempsey other leading light heavyweights in this country keeping a check on the progress of Lyndon Arthur who in the last round looked as though he was starting to struggle a bit was he just shaking his foot off the gas deliberately to regroup well we'll see look for the uppercut there though but blocked by Faraci there again example of the counter punch it's a slow jab from Faraci, you see, and you can't afford to make that type of move against uh, someone with speed and reactions like Lyndon Arthur. Slow jab and slow to get the glove back yeah, as well. well. That's it, it's a slow jab. Arthur responds and reacts with, uh, with a good counter punch. A little bit of a taunting smirk on Faraci's face as he made Arthur miss that time. Getting a little bit untidy now. For actually continuing, trying to rough Lyndon Arthur up. Marcus see. McDonald's been quite busy trying to keep this clean. You can see Lyndon Arthur now looking for that right hand counter. As Farage, he's caught him a couple of times with it as Farachi's coming forward. He's just there, there he is though he can actually come back with the jab there, but he's just sitting and watching that little back step he takes. He's waiting for the attack to come and there's the right hand to follow. On right on cue. Well, Maybe he's had his moments here, Lyndon Arthur. A good right hand to end it. Shake of the head from Ferracci, who says he's not hurt. Well, as you probably know, Lyndon Arthur has Sonny Edwards, the man who calls himself Lyndon's twin. How do you rate this going, Sonny? I've got it five rounds to two, and the two rounds I gave to Ferracci, they were close, so for argument's sake, um, they've gone the other way. But when Lyndon's sitting off him, when he's planting his feet and sticking behind that long jab, Farachi's constantly making mistakes and then there's gaps in his space every single time he throws. Just want to see Lyndon take that half step back and let Farachi walk onto the shots and I think he'll find a knockout. Well, we'll see. He seems a wee bit nonplussed by his performance so far and Pat Barrett wanting him to lift it to another level, Richie. How did you score that last round? No, I thought um, Lyndon Arthur uh, won the round. Not a lot in the round, but again, the better quality shots came from him. So you agree with Sonny then? You've got it 5-2 as well? Yeah, 5-2, I've got it. Three what rounds to go. What does Sonny know, though? He's only a world champion. <laughs> he knows his stuff, Sonny Edwards. Ferrati still got bags of belief. I don't think Pat Barrett's too happy with the way Lyndon's fought tonight, is he? Probably, yeah, he, to be quite honest, no, he's not. And I think he, he's just, 
just a, probably a little bit annoyed that he's taken the shots that he has, knowing that he could have avo avoided them. No knockdown there, by the way, that was a slip. Sometimes, though, John, a fighter feels the power of his opponent and then takes more risks because, you know, he, he's got the confidence that he's not going to get knocked out by him. That often can happen in a fight. And so he disrespects the power of his opponent. Arthur would love to get a stoppage win, I'm sure. Has dominated in parts, but Farachi's just kept on coming. A bit of a head clash there, accidental. Farachi complaining that it wasn't accidental. Sonny was shouting, incidentally, from the commentary presentation area. I think Lyndon might just have looked across to see his old mate and see what he was making of it. Sonny trying to rise him to higher levels. I think judging, I think he'd judge it by his own high standards, Lyndon, and I strongly suspect that he'd be a wee bit disappointed by the way it's gone so far. But still time. Still time, he's been outworked in this round up to now. Again, taking a few too many risks, holding the feet, trying to block the punches on the arms and the elbows. But, you know, he, Farachi's persistent, isn't he? He just keeps coming, sustained attack from him. Nothing really dynamic from Farachi, it's one pace, but nevertheless, volume of punches, he's outworking Lyndon Arthur in this round. Yeah, not too much at all coming from Arthur here. And he's looking a little bit jaded in there dare I say as he takes a left hand and just wants to try and frustrate Farachi could do with a few quality punches in the closing stages of this round to catch the eyes of the judges and they're not coming right now there they are that's more like it Sucking in the air, a little bit tired in there now is Lyndon Arthur. And Farachi, well, we reckon, has outworked Arthur there and probably done enough to win that round. Well, that's our last fight of the night. Meanwhile, Lyndon Arthur against David Farachi. Arthur ahead, but did you give the last round to the Italian, Richie? Yes, I did, but he just got caught with a right up a good there. And um, that was a super start to the round from Lyndon Arthur. But yeah, I, did, I thought Fratch outworked um, Arthur in that last round. But a great response. He's obviously listened to the corner and just caught him right at the start of the round. Can he build on it? One punch won't win a round. Yeah, this is when Arthur should be throwing more shots now. He's still, you see. Farachi just waiting there, still recovering from that big shot at the start of the round. His work, his work rate has slowed down. Look again, look long gaps be before he's actually throwing a shot. Farachi. Both of them struggling to find quality shots up to that initial attack of Lyndon Arthur, who, again, is blowing heavily here in this penultimate round. Arthur, in all honesty, would have, I think, been expecting to have found a little bit more quality than he's produced tonight. A bit of a curate's egg of a performance in places. Oh, oh there he is! Just as I'm saying it, he finds an absolutely world-class shot, and that's what we've been waiting for. Yeah, that super punch again, that right-hand counter. As Fratcher comes forward with slow feet and a slow attack, it's fast reactions, instantly, split-second timing, right hand over the top, cracking shot. Well, that, in points terms, may have put the result 
beyond question. And now Lyndon Arthur will look for the finish. It was an absolute peach of a right hand. Yeah, he's just got to box him in that more mid and long range, um, Lyndon Arthur. Kind of underlined what I was the point I was trying to make, Richie. You know, he's looked great in parts, and other parts yeah. just not been there. And just as I'm saying it, it produces a punch like that. Yeah, super shot. Oh, and again. Lovely. I think that might be thank you and good night. Great left hand. The Italian bravely gets up again. He says he's okay, but Marcus McDonnell will have a very, very close look. He allows it to go on. 13 seconds remaining, one more punch might do it and it's all over. And Lyndon Arthur in the ninth round finds the stoppage. Big right hand for the first knockdown, big left uppercut come hook for the second. And the third, the right hand, Ferracci so bravery, tested Arthur all the way. But in the end, the golfing class between the two told. And in that ninth round, Lyndon Arthur at last found those world-class punches. Well, that's what it needed, wasn't it? I mean, Pat Barrett has been calling for that type of performance to wake his uh, uh, fighter up, and just just as the, the round went on, then he produces two, two or three of the best shots of the contest. Great timing, slow attacks from his opponent, Fratchy coming forward, and that right hand over the top. His accuracy and timing was there, and he just went through the gears, and the accuracy, actually, he caught him with a couple of big shots towards the end just to finish the job off. There's that right hand. It's a slow attack from Faraci as he's coming forward with that double jab. The right hand over the, over the top. So have a look, there's the double jab. They're falling short. And Lyndon Arthur produces a lovely sweet shot over the top. Bang on the button. Let's have a look at it here now. Lovely left uppercut. Right, right cross or right hook if you like. Tremendous work from him. He did well to actually get up, did Faraci. But Lyndon can smell the victory. There's that left uppercut, right hook. Super punches. Let's have a look at it again here. Big shot. This is actual the, the finish. Right hand again. Two right hands and the referee jumps in and, and waves it off. We really got to give credit because there's the reaction of Sonny Edwards. Forget impartiality. That's England one, Italy nil. And his big mate has done what was required. Not exactly vintage from Lyndon Arthur, but when he got the opportunity, got the opening, what a way to finish it. Yeah, he finished it well, didn't he? And uh, Pat Barrett wasn't happy in that corner at certain times of this, this contest. I don't think he was ever really in trouble, but I think he could have avoided more shots. And I think that's what Pat Barrett will be disappointed about, that he took a few too many. Having said that, like, like I said before, he probably took a few too many risks because he knew his opponent didn't have really the power to trouble him. Boxers can some, you know, sometimes do that, but he's found the punches at the right time, the accuracy and power was there, and he finished the job off very well indeed. Pat Barrett will be very pleased with the finish, but not the overall performance. Yep, well, the pride of Manchester and the Collyhurst and Moston gym is still undefeated. He's made it 19 out of 19. I think he's rather happy, isn't he? He's ready to go home. And he told us that it was going to be 1-0. One 1-0 nil. One nil it is. I wonder what the score is going to be tomorrow. I think Lyndon will reckon it's going to be 2-0 in terms of England against Italy. We will see, but the first one emphatically to the Manchester man. And here's Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 50 seconds of round number nine. Our referee in charge, Marcus McDonald, steps in to stop the contest as the red corner was in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner and still WBO Intercontinental Light Heavyweight Champion, Lyndon King Arthur. Lyndon takes it. The travelling Manchester fans are delighted. And I think that uh, the man alongside Paul Dempsey similarly has a huge grin on his face. Sonny Edwards and Callum Johnson. And here.